Twitch is well known for being consistently inconsistent when it comes to their bans. They have been called out multiple times for being sexist and playing favorites, but it's not like that's a major headline that's been going on for pretty much ever. Very similar to YouTube, actually. It's not like it's only Twitch doing this. The recent Corey Kenshin story that came out about them being racist and playing favorites on that platform as well. But this situation... It's a bit bonkers. It's a bit crazy because it involves a ban, a ban that you've probably heard of by now and seen the clip as well. It revolves around a streamer called Kamika. And now, while you may not know her by name, you definitely know her by the deed she committed because she was the one that did doggy style on stream. And while she didn't directly show the sexual act, she did show her face and the reaction to her getting, well, hit from behind, and that is pretty bad in and of itself, but if you looked off to the side in her apartment window, you could see the full deed being done in the reflection. And she was getting that full weenie Hut Juniors without the Hut Juniors. She was just, they were going to town with no regard for their live stream still being running. So naturally she did get banned because believe it or not, having sex on Twitch is a bannable offense. It's like sticking your hand in the cookie jar. It's a big no-no that's definitely going to get you put in time out. But the problem isn't with the ban itself, it's with how long she got banned for. You think this would be a perma ban because, well, she had sex on stream, but no! It was only a 7-day ban, which I believe it was confirmed by Gideon himself here in this video that he made. So, I'm going on with my stream, my chat spamming, yo, she's live on TikTok, she's live on TikTok, she's live on TikTok. So I join in her TikTok live, then I ask her the million dollar question. I know why, but like, how long are you banned for? Um, 7 days. What the- 7 days. Yep, only a 7-day ban. That is not a fitting punishment for the crime committed. It's like she just waltzed into a bank and committed armed robbery and then Grand Theft Auto the full nine yards and only got slapped with a month sentence in jail. Like, <laughs> what kind of punishment is that? It's not going to thwart them from doing that. She's probably going to do it again. She got the publicity. She got her name out there for doing this crazy thing on Twitch that's going to drive the viewership up. And then she only got seven days to think about what she'd done. <laughs> <laughs> like what? <laughs> That's like your kid bit another kid and made them bleed. So you put them in the corner for 30 seconds to teach them a lesson. Like <laughs> there's no lesson to be learned there. And the reason this is creating a massive stir is because Gideon, the guy who made that video, the clip I just showed you, he has been banned permanently for eight months now because he hate rated Pokimane. Now, yes, what he did was wrong. He told his chat to go, like, spam L plus ratio, I believe it was, in Pokimane's chat. And you can't do that. It's, like, targeted harassment. You can't do that to other streamers on the platform. So he got banned. And you think maybe his ban would be, like, a month, maybe two. And he's, like, even on good terms with Pokimane now. They've hung out and posted a picture. Like, they're cool. And he's still banned on Twitch. But this lady has full intercourse. Nothing happens. Seven days. <laughs> She's gonna have a NOS nice vacation and then come back better than ever. Twitch is just more inconsistent with their bans than my piss when I have morning wood. It's absolutely crazy. And Gideon goes on in this video in the full upload on YouTube to just basically say that Twitch is sexist and playing favorites, which yes, they 1 million percent seem to be, because there's no other logical explanation for this besides they have like literal apes doing the banning like they're just smacking buttons and whatever whatever pops up is however many days the person gets banned like it just doesn't make sense the thought process that goes in to banning people on twitch it's just a nonsensical formula but it's not like what this lady did was unheard of it's not like she's the first person to step on the moon she's not discovering new uncharted territories Porn has been a big problem on Twitch for a long time. Very recently, actually, I hopped on Twitch with my friends when they added the beach and pools category, and we were just scrolling through to see what goofy stuff we could find, and I seen some cocks at full mass, some balls flapping in the wind, some sweaty taints peeking out to say hello. I even seen that lady that goatsies herself on there, some re-uploads of her. I've seen absolutely everything that the human body has to show. And I would imagine that all those streams got perma-banned. Or maybe they only got a 7-day ban because I guess porn's only a weak ban. You know, just give them a little slap on the wrist, say no, 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 don't do that again, and then everything's fine. But if you hate-raid somebody, 
That's a permaban right there, baby. You're not coming back to this platform. We won't stand for that. I just think it's insane that Twitch is a platform meant for people who were 13 years of age or older, and yet when adult content is streamed on the platform that is meant for 18 years of age or older and just straight up not allowed in the first place, they only get banned for seven days. That's just crazy. Definitely some favoritism and sexism involved there. But anyway, speaking of adult entertainment and adult content, this person right here, Adriana Chekik, she is a former adult actress and she was banned on Twitch seemingly after she wore this outfit here, which is, I'm probably gonna blur it, but it's like, imagine the Molly Cyrus Wrecking Ball video where she had like tape on her nipples. That's what she's wearing with like a fishnet see-through shirt. Now, it's still unclear, the jury's still out debating if it was the reason for the ban, but another weird thing that happened with her is that she was stopped from playing in a Twitch Rivals event due to her career in the adult entertainment industry just like minutes or hours before the event actually happened, they notified her that. And I think that's just absolutely crazy and, and kind of weird, honestly. Like, I don't know why a person's past has anything to do with them in their current state and what they're currently doing. Even if she was currently a, in a, a porn star, she's not doing that on the platform, so why is she getting punished for that? When someone who's actually doing it on the platform is barely getting punished, you know? There's just... Seems very weird, some stuff that's going on at Twitch, but like I said at the beginning, it's nothing really new. Twitch has been doing this forever. I really want to know who's behind Twitch. Every time something like this happens, it reminds me of that South Park episode with the manatees and the idea balls for the Family Guy episodes, how they're made. It just makes me think something like that is going on at, at Twitch. Like, they don't really know how they run their own company. They just let some animal pick a ball <laughs> for a band length. And then they pick another ball for how they're going to handle a certain situation. It's just crazy. It's just goofy all around. It's just a circus up there at the Twitch headquarters. And there are countless more banned situations that I could talk about when it comes to Twitch. Because it seems like they always make the wrong choices when it comes to each banned situation. It's actually crazy at how bad they are when it comes to handling each one of these things when it pops up. The first one that comes to mind is that person who said they wanted to harm themselves and then shoot up the Twitch headquarters. But then they issued an apology, so they were reinstated and their permaban was reverted because they said they believed that they were changed or they felt remorseful or something along those lines. The, the moral of the story, they reversed that permaban, even though they said something that horrible to the Twitch staff directly. But somehow, Gideon still remains banned, and the lady was allowed to get hit from behind and not with a car. It's, it's just crazy. Twitch is absolutely wild up there. I don't think anything's going to change. They don't seem to care what anybody thinks. No matter how much lashback and how much criticism they get, they just continue to be one of the most poorly handled platforms on the internet. Getting right up there with YouTube with how they've been handling stuff recently too. Once again, going back to that Corey Kenshin stuff. It's just crazy times to be on the internet. It, it really is kind of like the Wild West out here, but I'll catch you next time. Peace out.